Hi, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness. Today we're going to talk about the cold steel walkabout cane. Now it's made of polymer and it has a little bit of weight to it. Now I've put a rubber stock around the end of it. Uh, I did shorten it. I believe this cane is 37 inches. I did take an inch off and you can still take more if needs be. Now you might wanna ask, why am I talking about a cane? Well, number one, I'm 60 years old and I'm getting in practice for when I'm older. And number two, uh, a walking stick is actually a very practical thing and it can also be used as a defensive weapon. So let's talk about that. Now when it comes to stick fighting, you know, I'm no expert. Uh, I have been trained in certain types of stick fighting and I've always been of the school that uh, you know you use a stick to jab and to uh, strike and that you can use it to parry either from the outside of the arm or from the inside of the arm and these are good techniques but I've been studying some other styles of techniques that may be more suitable for someone who's older. Now, there's this website called Schoola, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not, Gladiatoria. And uh, it's out of England, and the gentleman is an expert in uh, medieval and uh, is Elizabethan and other periods in England's history of England and Europe's martial arts, especially involving swords and stick fighting. And I've learned a lot from watching his channel. I highly recommend it. It's also very entertaining. And I, I got to thinking, you know, most people who do have to depend on a walking stick or cane as a support, they're not gonna be able to do a lot of the uh, the fancier moves that require a little bit of athleticism. The other thing is you don't want somebody grabbing that cane. And if you depend on walking with that cane or supporting yourself with that cane, you know, you don't want to lose it. You don't want to try to do techniques that require speed and, and uh, you know, agility because you're not going to have that. And actually there's some sword fighting techniques that would work very well with a walking stick. Now, one of the things you need to think about is this gives you distance from an attacker. Now, human beings attack mostly from the front. But it's either gonna be a punch, it's gonna be a grab. And the easiest way to defend is to block that arm as it's coming and possibly to dislocate an elbow, to break a forearm, and to disable that arm. So you want to think in terms of parry, you know, whether it's a, a roundhouse punch, a straight punch, whether it's a lunge, and we're talking about you know, untrained people, you know, people who are possibly street fighters who maybe know a little bit. We're not talking about trained martial artists here. But someone who, who attacks, you want to block and hit that limb. And it can be done from either side. All right, that's your first part, that block. All right, now, second part in this technique, and we're just going to show one today. All right, we're striking areas, collarbone. All right, you don't want to be a head hunter for several reasons. One, it uh, gives them an opportunity to grab that stick. Uh, some people, it may kill them, hitting them in the head like that. Other people, it will just make them angry. So what you're wanting to do is to disable them from attacking you. Remember that, you're disabling them from an attack. 
So, collarbone. You want to hit that collarbone. Ribs. Okay, you want to disrupt their breathing. Now, old Bob here doesn't have knees, but you want to hit that knee. Take that knee out. That gives you your opportunity to escape. So, basically, you're going to block, strike to the ribs, strike to the knee, strike to the collarbone. Very simple. It works from either side. All right, so how is this going to look? We have our attacker coming. All right, we pair it. We go to the ribs. We go to the knee. We go to the collarbone. And then we get out of there. Now, this can be done from either side. You know, we can parry ribs, knee, collarbone. You know, very simple. And you pick a few techniques that you work over and over again. Now, let's see how it looks on old Bob. Old Bob's coming this way. Flop Step back. It's just that simple. Now, obviously, there are very many techniques you can use with a walking stick or cane. You know, people could be coming from the side. They could be coming from the rear. You might have to block up. You might have to block a kick. And there are other striking techniques that you can utilize. Pick a few and work them continuously. You know, you want to pick techniques that are suitable to your frame, to your physical abilities, to what you can and cannot do, and practice those techniques over and over again until they become second nature. One other thing, if you carry a firearm, now, I would advise that you learn to walk with your cane with your non-dominant hand. That way, if you ever have to draw your firearm, it's up right there. So this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness reminding you to be prepared for those unexpected things that happen on your journey of life.